My next guest takes on bantamweight champion Jose Shorty Torres coming up here at Titan FC 46 on November 17th. It's Gleitson De Jesus joining me here on the program yet again. Gleason, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How's the, how are you doing yourself? I'm doing very well. It's uh, good to talk to you again. And, uh, man, this is a great fight, uh, obviously taking on uh, the champ and Shorty Torres. Um, and I got to know, after your last fight, you get the win over uh, Chino Duran at Titan FC 45. Did you feel like a title shot was next? Because I know that's something you and I talked about last time uh, in our interview. Um, like I said, um, I kind of like listened to the interview you had with him a little bit earlier. Um, he said that the guy, yeah, the guy was whatever. It was a last minute uh, re- um, replacement. I didn't have a fight, so they threw that fight in, man. And I just say, oh, let's do it. One more fight, and then, and then I just pretty much just added on to my record, you know, so I can just challenge this whoever it is. It, I didn't expect to, you know, I did expect to fight Torres for the title, but at the same time, I expected to just continue fighting. And then one day, um, Titan FC offers me to fight, and then I, w- I would have took him. But it ended up happening November like he wanted it. And I guess I'm a great challenge for him, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a fantastic uh, fight. And uh, how do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, Torres, the, the beauty of all of his fights, they're all in Titan, so you can watch as much tape as you want because it's all on UFC Fight Pass. Of course. It's just like um, it kind of feels like the prepping myself for the UFC where there's going to be fight tapes everywhere. So a lot of these guys, they, don't, they can't really find fight tapes. I can't even find t- fight tapes unless I put it out myself. Yeah. So yeah, I study. I have studied a lot of things. My coaches, we sat down. We 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 have a great game plan to uh, implant with him. And like I said, man, I believe that's somebody that's gonna give me the best challenge in the same well as I'm gonna give him the best challenge. And I'm just looking forward to next week, November 17th, with Titan FC 46 to showcase what I'm capable of doing. And I was hitting. I was telling me I'm the hidden gym in MMA, but it's cool, you know. I get there. Well, well, kind of on that same note, do you feel like all the pressures on him in this fight? Because you know, there's all everyone's been talking about is how he should be in the UFC, and you know, Titans groomed him to be kind of their guy. I mean, the focus is on him. Uh, you're, you're this, you know, you, you have the opportunity to seal all that spotlight with a win uh, coming up here on November 17th. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like really, I'm just focused on training, make sure my my my, my body is healthy. On weight, I'm always on weight, man, you know what I'm saying? So, really, I don't have to really worry so much besides just winning, you know, just making sure I win, I get that shred around my waist because the division, 135, is actually the division I always fought in. I try to go down to 25, didn't work out for me, knowing that I know my body goes really weak. And I took a fight short notice anyway. If I would have got me in like a two-month uh, two uh, period, I would have got down in shape. But at the same time, it's not worth it, man, especially the way the UFC is working right now. So I'd rather just fight my 35, and then eventually when I get older, I fight 45, you know. Like, that's my plan, you know. But right now, I just want to take over the 35 division here locally. And hopefully in the UFC, which is, I, I won't say hopefully, you know, I will take over the division. And I just got to keep working hard. And like I said, God always has a plan for his, uh, for people in their moments, and this is my moment, man. Yep. Uh, now, do you have to change much in your training with the fact this is a five-round fight instead of a three-round fight? No, not really. I realized that I've been doing the same regimen, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing the same exact stuff. I run I run literally six miles a day, like every other, every day or every other day. You know, I try to take breaks because, like, I put it on too many miles, man. That's, like, that's how I really get down the weight, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really do pick-up weights. I'm a very uh, phys- uh, physique guy already, you know. Uh, like I said, man, I've been doing cup weight all my life since I was four so I'm very in good shape my whole entire life. I mean, I had a 12-pack when I was 10 years old. <laughs> so, you know, really being in shape is my thing. I've been in martial arts my whole life, so I'm always in shape. Awesome. And who are some of your main training partners that are helping you get ready for this fight? Um, right now, like, there's, like, I think about American Top Team, man, we have so many um, different fighters, so many bodies there. Um, mainly my, my training partner right now is um, Pedro Muiz. Oh, nice. You know, I train with, with uh, former UFC champion, Randy Burrell, which I know... Tori might say yes, but my training partner is TJ Dillashaw, and he beat him, which is like, TJ Dillashaw is one of my guys that I, I've changed the game for MMA to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of understood that you don't have to be just a boxer, you have to be literally versatile, you have to know to when to go to the ground, when to strike, when to kickbox. If you if you notice what happens on this past weekend fight, you know, he, it was kind of tough of being a boxer to boxer. He, he just switched up, went to a kickboxing match, and it worked out for him. So, like, when I watched him fighting Randy Burrell, I kind of got into a sparring match with Randy Burrell where I kind of mimicked TJ style. So if he, if you said, man, the pictures I see around the Facebook and Instagram, which I 
You know what I'm saying? I look up to, uh, like I said, all these guys at 135s, one day is one of these guys that I, I look up to and be like, man, one day I'm going to fight you. So these guys are the, the push for me every day in the gym. So Pedro, Randy, you know what I'm saying? And literally anybody at the 35 division that comes across my in, in my gym, I pick people, man. I pick the best challenge. Sometimes, you know, I want to... I want to make sure I get the challenge so that I prove myself to to myself at least, you know, that I can stand up with these guys any time, any day. So that's what I do, you know. I pick the best. I never short myself out. And you can ask anybody in the gym. You know, I always try to outwork everybody there, and that's my goal. I'm going to just outwork him. How do you see this fight ending on November 17th? Um, like I said, I, I want to get, I want to finish the fight as quick as possible. You know, I want to get to him before he gets to me, and that's how I pretty much gonna go. But I'm a very composed guy. I'm very intelligent in what I do. I don't rush. You know what I'm saying? If you ever see me, I always tell people I'm like, I, like I have a, like a face like Fedor Malenko. <laughs> I never change, man. I can. Every once my page, I'm, I'm never smile. Just very cold and composed, man. So exactly. So that's pretty much what I'm doing for this fight. Trying to stay calm. Understand that my skill is gonna speak for itself. Awesome, I love it. Um, what, what are you watching right now on Netflix? Are you getting any uh, TV time in during training camp? Um, I try as much, man. I've been very busy with just focusing. I train about four to five times a day. You know, my movie starts at four a.m. So I run. If you ever check my live, which I probably he, I'm sure he probably doing it. Whatever his team is, because um his dad, his not his dad, but his brother tried to get on my my in my DM, trying to get me to my head, and I said, bro, listen. As long as I'm working hard, the fight should speak for itself, man. So I run there, and then I start 9.45 with my coaches, and then I do three classes in the morning, and then I finish up my night at 11 o'clock, and I just keep going, man. So I re- I'm taking this fight very, very serious, very serious. A five-round fight, like I said, never fought five rounds, but I'm doing everything that is, that is impossible to to fight those five rounds. You know, if I have to fight five rounds, which, I, like I said, I want to get there quick and, and, and fast, get back to my family, get back to my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Wrap that, that gold that gold bell around her waist, you know, like, you know, even though that thing's probably bigger than her, but hey, it's gonna be fun to look at her, you know. She always I always tell her, man, like, hey, how many belts you want? She said ten. And I tell her, damn, I have to really work hard for that belt. But that's my motivation, man. She's my joy, you know. That's why I wake up to my wife, you know. I I, I, I in the morning after I, I run, I do daddy duty. I'm taking my wife to work, I'm taking my daughter to daycare, and then I go to training. And then I do the same thing, pick them up, pick them up, and then go to training. So, you know, I know what I need to do for this fight, and I'm taking it very serious, man. You know, I'm at, I'm at the low weight right now. Um, I've always been, like, it's been 11 months that I've been training for this kid. I knew I was fighting him. I can give I can give screenshots of me and my manager talking about January 2017. I said, listen, Jose's dude. If I had to go down to 25 to prove the UFC, I'm one of the best fighter, period. Not best fighter in the division, just period. I will do whatever it takes. And he said, just keep working. We're going to get there. Now we're here. Awesome. Well, we can't wait for this fight. It's uh, Titan FC 46. going to be live in UFC Fight Pass November 17th. That is next Saturday. Uh, Gleetson, it's uh, always a pleasure catching up with you, man. Just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you've got any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours, man. Social media is very simple, very short. You know, I'll keep it simple. It's Gleason MMA on all social media platforms Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And I would like to shout out my sponsor, my number one sponsor that's been sponsoring for the past two years, um, which is Brower Manor Rehab Center. And um, also, uh, what's it called? Direct Vapor, Alienware, Habusa, uh, Sucker Punch Entertainment, which is my management team. They've been doing really good to me, man. So, and also, um, like I said, I got a lot of uh, sponsors, which is East West Physician, uh, Three Layers Deep, um, American Top Team, of course, you know. Also, I got this, man, I just have to show you this food, man. This food right here, I've been sharing around because I'm such a nice and kind person that to the point that these people are like going crazy asking for that. But this, these are people that have been taking care of my body, you know, garden life as well. I'm, I'm turning to a vegan. I think I'm turning to a vegan, man. I haven't ate steak in over two months. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to give up the chicken because I, I just need some type of protein with that. So, but yeah, definition nutrition is one of the best people that has been working with me really tight and close. This guy's a personal trainer. So we've been working with my body really well with everything you know I, I, I also like to take my coaches steve bruno Pahumpa, my jiu-jitsu coach my striking coach is steve bruno um Jay, uh, steve marco Olymp, uh, what's called olympic wrestler and like all my teammates are american top team you know and um and here again man you know come here and my little girl right here as always you know, nice to meet you say, hey julian say hi but yeah man so, like, that's my pride and joy that's what i do it for 
You know, uh, like I say, I'm a humble guy. I have nothing against him, but he has something I want. And shout out to all my sponsors. You know, if I didn't shout you guys out, um, so sorry. You know, but you know, I'm here, man. Just, I'm just gonna try. Your works, flawless uh, uh, detailing. You know, what I'm saying, um, it's so much that's so hard to remember all of them. Dwell to sell, which is the lady that I do realtor. Uh, is actually a staging realtor lady. She's from Chicago, from the from the Windy City, and um. And I'm just trying to remember everybody because it's just too many. I just love all the. So you can find it on your social giving. media, though, right? I would imagine you're always yeah, plugging that stuff. I'm a very social media guy, man. I like to do promo. You know, win or lose, I thank God for everything, and um, that's what I do. You know, glory to the God, and that's how I do it. But I appreciate you, man. When you hit me up, I said, man, anytime, anywhere, just let me know, man.